Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to the Casual Puzzler. I don't even know if this probably is my laundry behind me. I wasn't originally going to be doing like a spoken part for this video. It was just going to be like a time lapse, a quick short video of me doing my Easter puzzle. But I ran into a lot of issues with this puzzle, so I feel like it needs a review. But also I thought it'd be interesting and fun to do a commentary type video where I'm giving you the insight of how I figured out this puzzle because it was really tricky. The puzzle I did was the Angela Harding Rathlin Hairs by Flame Tree, and I had a lot of quality issues with this puzzle. In general, it's just a difficult one because there's really only three colors in there and it's a lot of different textures and brush strokes. So it was a pretty tricky one to do, and I thought you'd be interested in knowing how I got through it. So I did end up fishing it. I don't recommend the brand, um, but I will just give you more insight as I do the puzzle. So I hope you all have a fantastic Easter and or a happy spring, and let's just get into the puzzle. Here is the box for the Angela Harding Rathlin's hair puzzle. Very traditional puzzle box. It is very shiny, but very nice. And then inside the box we have our traditional puzzle bag. And then it also does come with a poster, which is nice because it is the full length of the puzzle versus the square box. As far as the pieces go, there is no puzzle dust, which is the plus side, but they are extremely shiny and all the puzzle pieces are twos and they do have a paper backing, which really does hinder the experience for me. Um, they really weren't the best of pieces and pretty much everything fit together. And then moving on to my sorting, I did just sort out the edges to start off and all blue pieces. So any puzzle piece that had any sort of blue in it, I took out first because I knew the blue section was probably going to be the easiest out of all of it. After my sort though, I did notice some issues with the paper backing and the puzzle pieces. As you can see, there's quite a few that had the paper backing peeling off. And then I did notice quite a lot of pieces were stuck together because they couldn't cut all the way through. Um, but I did get all the edges as you can see. Here are all the blue pieces. And then I am starting with the edge, which actually was the easiest part of the whole puzzle. The edge probably only took me like 15 minutes. It was really, really easy. And I did actually have all the edge pieces right there, but I did have a couple that were in the wrong place. Um, and then moving on to the inside pieces, I started off with just the solid blue puzzle pieces. And this is when I noticed every single piece fit together. So I had to go one by one and try to figure out which piece goes where. Now the puzzle pieces do have like a long puzzle piece and a short puzzle piece. So you can see which direction that puzzle piece went. And that helped a little bit, but it was still pretty frustrating. And once I was done with all the solid blue, I of course went into the ones that had a little bit of black and white in it, starting with the rabbit's ear. And then I did the sailboat with all the water texture underneath it. Um, a lot of the texture was very similar to each other. So again, I had to do the just going one by one method, which is not my favorite. It makes it for a long process. And I was able to do it. I did have quite a few pieces in the wrong spot at one time, so I had to rearrange. Uh, it was just kind of frustrating because all the pieces do kind of fit. So you have to just like see if it was like really the correct fit or try it again with another couple pieces. And it was just kind of frustrating in general with all the pieces fitting together. sections of grass I could decipher the colors so these ones have a very distinct up and down so I could tell which piece was going the correct way and it does have a light blue and then like a greenish blue so I was able to decipher those sections of grass because it again still had a bluish tinge to it and that made it somewhat easier but again it was all everything fit together and you just have to make sure the right piece is in the right place and then finally, when I was done with the grass in that section, I moved on to the brown pieces or the bunny pieces and first took them all out of the box 
and then again went one by one and tried to figure out where they went. I did take out the second bunny's ears because that was at least sec a section that I could do and it had black and white so I could at least have one section complete and it gave me something more to work with. Once the ears were done, I pretty much was just doing the same method as before, going one by one. I did notice a little bit of a difference in the texture of the bunnies. So one had a lot more dense fur and then it would further go out into a more of a black texture. Um, but in general, they looked very similar and I just had to go one by one again with the one long piece and just going row by row, trying to figure out where it went. Um, and then I would just continue on. Again here you can see that the as the bunny's butt <laughs> came into form it got a lot more dark so it was easier to see which texture went where. Um, and then I would just continue on with the grass. Moving on to the grass, these three sections as you can see, um, they have three different colors that I noticed as I was looking at the pieces. Very mild differences, but it did help. So the section on the left definitely had more tan colors, the one on the right was a bluish green, and then the one in the middle was more of a brownish tan green. So very faint and very hard to decipher. but. It was something I could at least work off of since all the textures are pretty much the same. For this whole section of the puzzle, I pretty much was working off of the tips of the puzzle pieces. So I would see a certain section and say maybe the tip was going to be black. I would look at those puzzle pieces that had a black tip and that's how I would decipher which puzzle piece may work. Um, so that's what I was pretty much doing this whole entire section. And they did have a little bit different pattern, so I was able to work with those as well. But here we are with the full completed puzzle, as you can tell. Super shiny and glossy. Did come out really cute in the end, but I probably wouldn't recommend the brand. Um, but I hope you all have a fantastic Easter, and I will see you guys soon.